What's going on guys? It's the One Round Reco and here today we are here with the new Mega 10 2017 with your boy, it's me, well the white version of me, Kaiba, Seto Kaiba with the Kaiba Corp logo on the back and god this tin just, there's a quick, let's take a quick look at this tin, look at it, it's absolutely beautiful, blue, silver, all that goodness. And if you can tell a slight difference, I have my other table that I've had at my mom's for a while. She moved a bit away, so I brought it here. It's like a computer desk table, so it's nice and raised up. So you can see the back a bit better, too. See all the goodiness, all the Pokemans, the Yu-Gi-Ohs, and a lot of Power Rangers, too. So that's a plus with this. And I'm just excited to open this. I got these Thursday. Today is Friday, the 25th. Or today is Saturday, I'm sorry, the 26th. These tins are supposed to be released the 25th. They, I got mine the 24th. So I got this one, I have a Yugi one I'm going to open, probably upload that sometime soon as well. And I also, I opened a Yugi one today when I was out, and I got some decent pulls out of that already. I got like Magician's Navigation, um, I got Winter Cherries with it too. So I'm just hoping for all the goodness to get out of these tins. I am more than hype and excited. You can see me in the reflection bouncing around in the back. Let's get into it. Let's see, I'll show you the back. All that, I'll tear off the plastic before I read the back so I can actually read past the Konami little symbols here. And remember kids, if you carry a knife, always practice knife safety. You don't want to hurt yourself or others. Just some common sense, don't cut toward yourself. Don't go charging at people with knives, either or. So, get here, nice and unwrapped. Oh, he looks even better unwrapped. Uh, better, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. I'm too hype, too much hype. Anyway, so we go to the back. Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Ten 2017. This Kaiba Mega Ten includes three 2017 Mega Ten Mega Packs, one Secret Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, I can't wait. Two Ultra Rare cards, Paroxy Dragon and Pot of Desires. Another sought off sought after card, which I may or may not use. This is pretty good. In the right situation, I'll give it that. It can be bad. It can be good. It all. It's either you hate it or you don't. So I'm still on the fence about it. It also comes with one ultra rare token featuring Seto Kaiba and two super rare cards. Number 68, Xenophon the Sky Prison and Elder, uh, Elder Entity Ness. Or tss, 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 tss. I'm not sure. Let's get this a bit closer so you can read it. A bit better, get that glare off it. Each mega pack includes one secret rare, one ultra rare, one super rare, one rare, and 12 common cards, including cards from the following booster sets Shining Victories, the Probably the best set in here. Dark Illusion, Invasion of Vengeance, and Raging Tempest. So, you got some good, pretty good packs. And you want to pick this up if you haven't been into Yu-Gi-Oh! and want to catch up on the past year or so. This is the 10 to do it, just like the 2016 one. There's a bunch of good uh, cards in here. Mission Navigation, Magician Circle, all the Blue Eyes cards, uh, all the Zodiac cards, all that good stuff's all in here. So, I'm done talking. I'm going to open it. And something I've noticed... It doesn't have that top plastic layer like most pack, like most tins do. It doesn't have that top plastic layer. It just has right into it. So you can see, and everything is also put into a one giant pack filled with three smaller packs and the promo packs. And all right here already. Secret Rare Blue Eyes is a Legend of Blue Eyes art. It's absolutely gorgeous and Secret Rare. Let's pop out of this plastic. So I'll set the three mega packs aside. And here's a little mini pack with the blue eyes oh my god it's gorgeous so let's do this for you guys show off the promos it comes with and the promos are almost identical to what the yugi tin has just barring like dark magician and the last two cards the supers i believe but we'll get into that later so here we have it the secret rare blue eyes with the new secret finish with the attribute and the stars with the finish as well Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna sleeve this as soon as we're done going through these. Peroxy Dragon, which is a good new link monster, which I think is probably gonna be a good link compared to like use Deco Talker, and you can go into this one and open up even more lanes for more shenanigans. I think he's gonna be prominently used a lot. So I expect big things out of Peroxy Dragon. And with its effect, if you control uh if card you could uh let me speak here. If a car card or card you control would be destroyed by a battle or card effect. You can destroy one monster this card points to instead. So it's got some nice protection. So if they're going to destroy a boss monster, if you have something you can sacrifice to the left or right of this, you can pop that instead, which is very useful. And he's got 14 attacks, so he's not huge, and he can go into bigger ones as well. Pot of Desires, the other really sought-after card. 
banish 10 cards on top of your deck, face down, and then draw 2 cards. And you can only activate 1 per turn. So that's what people say, you're banishing 10, so people think it's a neg 9. But in some cases, it do, it is a plus 1. It's all of the preference, really. I'm still debating if I'm going to run it, because you need if you're gonna, you usually only want to run 2, so you got to run a 60 card deck to do it. So, you know... All that crazy shenanigans. Then we got number 68, Cenophon, the Sky Prison. Looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like a cubic monster, to be honest. Elder Entities in this. Takes one Synchro and one Exceed monster. So usually you're probably going to... Uh, what's the word? Instant Fusion it. You're probably not going to actually summon it itself. Yeah, you know. Not as good as Norden, obviously. And then we got the Kaiba token, which replicates the nice and pretty tin here. You can't see the tin's a bit too big, but... Beautiful. So let me grab some sleeves for these and we can get into the mega packs and this mega tin opening of mega awesome. First, let me grab Blue Eyes' the sleeve. He deserves to be sleeve first. Am I running out of Yu-Gi-Oh! sleeves again? I have a bunch, but I don't think I have them in my sleeve box. My little deck box full of sleeves. So I'll slide Blue Eyes into here. I'll sleeve up the token. And then I will sleeve up Pot of Desires and save the rest of the sleeves for any other crazy nonsense we pull out of here. The other three, I'll sleeve just after. I'm not going to go digging for sleeves right now. I think that's. I think I'm grabbing a bunch of Pokemon sleeves. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh size. Do I not have any more? What in Tarnit? Wait a second, I think. Huh. I might have to use some... Oh, no. I got some old Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves. We're good. We're good. All right. So let's set those aside. And so let's see if I can set up this tin pretty here. Put the trash on the floor. See if I can turn this. So this table is much longer than the other one, so I might be able to display stuff in the back while we're opening. Let's lean this pretty good goodness here, so you can see that. And let's get into the big one. Not enough nonsense. Let's open one of these packs and see the goodness we get. First pack, set that. So we're leading off with Forge of the True Dracos. Before my pal, Seal Eel. Crystallogic Potential. Before my pal, Gon Gato. Oh, it's a kitty. Preta Plant, Monterey, Nephesis, Nymph Nephesis, Gendo, the Ascentic Monk. True King, Lithogram, the, the Disaster, like one of the main boss monsters. Really, I've played against this thing. I absolutely hate it, but that's a good thing to pull, especially if you're going to build two Dracos. <gasps> Blue Eyes, Twin Burst Dragon in the Kaiba Tin in the first pack. This is one I've been wanting so bad. Ah! Oh, I can't yell. I'm hungry and I gotta be quiet, but whoo! Look at one of the best secrets to pull out of here. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Takes two blue eyes. You don't use polymerization. Can smash them by just sending them on the field to the graveyard. And so you don't use polymerization because of that way. Cannot be special summoned any other ways. Can't be destroyed by battle. And it can make up to two attacks during the battle phase at the end of the damage step. When this card attacks opponent monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed by battle, you banish that monster. So you can crash into something big and banish it at the end phase. This is one of the ones I really wanted, and the first pack we got it. Woo! Ah, I'm excited. So I'll set that. Does we sleeved? Then we got Zodiac Tiger Mortar. Uh, another good card. I've seen uh, most of the openings I've seen have been Zodiac heavy, so I'm glad I got one of the po uh, one of the Pokemon, <laughs> one of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards I wanted right away. So I'm already happy. I uh, there's some others I'm gonna want. So I didn't pull exactly what I wanted out of the other time. I pulled good stuff for the one that opened off screen, but not what I wanted. So that's good. And then we got Metal Foes and a Mantine, Dino Miss Spiros. Shiraru Style Samasa, Christian Rosenix, Metal Foe Celine, A Fright for a Factor, uh, Sanctuary, and Cybertron Impact. Or, er, Christian. I'm sorry, I'm talking <laughs> Transformers over here. Ah, uh, if only that new movie was good, though. Oh, well. So let me grab some sleeves. I know I have one around here somewhere. Here we go. I think these might be Pokemon-sized. I'm... Are these Yu-Gi-Oh!-sized? No, these are Pokemon. Where are my Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves go? Am I out? That suck. Well, I'll use one of these old, older, uh, not as fancy, but it, all it needs to be is protected for now. So let me grab these up. I'll sleeve the pretty Twin Burst Dragon. I will also grab a sleeve for Lithogram, the Disaster. Lithosigram, I don't remember how it's pronounced, and I'm not going to sit here and try, because I'll look dumb. And Zodiac Tiger Mortar. So I'll see if I can set these guys in the back here. Cover the other ones for now. 
There we go. Twin burst. That was an, actually a really awesome first pack. I am beyond hype right now. So let's see if we can get some more stuff. Some other stuff I'm looking for is like the Ultra White Stone Ancients just for my deck. Um, Magician's Navigation, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, the D Prison, all that good stuff is in here. So that's what I'm looking for. Zodiac Ram Ram, Shooting Bird Pigeon, Master Eyes of Blue, Dwarf Star Dragon Planeteer. What is he? Is this the new version of Captain Planet with the Planeteers? Digital Bug Cocoon Dancer. Empowerment. Toon Dark Magician. That's actually adorable. That's pretty cool too. I like that. I have... I pulled Toon Blue Eyes a while back. So Toon Dark Magician is cool too. So I got a matching set. Cosmic Cyclone! Right what I said I needed, I got it. Oh man. This is a pretty good card too. My friend's looking for it, so I may keep it. I may trade it for some other stuff I need, but... Woo! Let's, I'm afraid to see what else I get. Metal Foes Mithrilium. I think I got this in the off-screen one, so that's pretty cool too. Dragon Core Hexer. That's a cool looking one. I think this uh, relates to another card. I forget what it was, but this is like the bad ending of it. Like how... What's his name? I don't remember his name now, but like, or the Giga Giga Go series, how they have, like, they evolve as they get stronger and there's the exceed and otherwise. So I think she's one of those kind of cards. Miscellaneousaurus, Change Draft, Rank Up Magician, Cypher Ascension, or Rank Up Magic, Massive Morph, Sheena Board Calling, and Wonder Exceed. So I'm shaking over here, getting some pretty good pulls. I am excited. I'm also shaking because it's super cold in my room. I'm in a basement room, so very, very cold. So let's sleeve up this Cosmic Cyclone here. Slide that in the back right there. Slide these other ones. I'll go ahead and sleeve up Toon Dark Magician and the Metal Foes Mithrilium, just because they're here. They deserve some sleeves. They're, they're Ultras and, and Supers. They deserve sleeves too. They need all love. So let's put these to the side where put... I'll leave these two in the back because they're not super crazy. Put the rare over there. And then we're getting the last pack. This this is crazy. I don't I don't know what else we can get. If I can get that ultra rare uh, ancient stone, then I'm good. This is an amazing opening. So, let's get into it. With Symphonic Warrior Guitar. Read die cycle. Read die cycle. Read cycle. Ha! Clever. I love me some clever word names. Digital Bug Web Soldier. Symphonic Warrior Mikes. Wrecker Panda. Look, he's so vicious. He's gonna wreck you. Mmm. Sprite's Blessing. Zodiac Rapier. 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 That's a good one as well. For the Zodiacs, they're not. Probably won't be worth much coming soon, so I guarantee they're getting nerfed with the upcoming uh, ban list. I can't wait for it, honestly. But, you know, still a good card to pull. Dark Magical Circle! I am kind of speechless. This has been a really, really good tin opening, at least in my opinion. Dark Magical Circle. Look at that. That's one of the other ones I wanted as well. Oh, I'm running out of energy. I got a Yugi tin to record too. Dragon Spirit of White Ultra Rare. So now I have a play set of these because I pulled one in the off screen tin. I traded for one and I pulled another one. Kind of wish it was the Stone of Ancients, but. It's a blue eyes card and the blue eyes tin. I can't complain. That is beautiful. Super heavy samurai stealth ninja. Side here. Uh oh. Raid Raptor Boostrix. Pandora Jewelry Box. Dynamis Anklos. Former Fell Life Swordsman. Zodiac, uh, Zodiac Bunny Blast. And Ritual Beast Return. So, gonna do a little recap here in a second, but that is a pretty good tin, if I can say so. Honestly, got the Twin Burst Dragon, the Magician's Circle, the Cosmic Cyclone. Man, so I've gotten some pretty good cards. I know in the tin I opened off screen, I also got the, I got Magician's Navigation. I got the Dragon Spirit of White. I also got, what was the other one? The Dark Illusion Magician, the like Shadow Dark Magician looking card. So I honestly can't complain. I think I did pretty well. And I have one more to open after this as well. The Yugi Tin. Which, that's going to be its own video. Don't worry. But this one should be going up Saturday night. I'm going to upload it as soon as I'm finished recording. 
So let me just finish leading up and get all these pretty, pretty cards in the back. Woo, let's organize these real quick. Man, I, I'm, I'm worn out. That was amazing. Woo! Hype. Got, you know, here are the promos. Proxy Dragon, number 68. Eller Ness. Got Zodiac Rap, uh, Rapier Super. Dragon Spirit Right Ultra. Dark Magical Circle Secret. Metal Foes Mithrilium Ultra. Toon Dark Magician. Cosmic Cyclone. Zodiac Tiger Motor. True King Lithog Lithogram. Lithogram. The Disaster. The Pot of Desires promo. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, which may almost go straight into my deck. I'm pretty sure I might make room for it. And then the Man of the Hour. The man who brought us these right here. The white version of myself on Puerto Rican Kaiba. This is the original Kaiba with the blue eyes and this pretty promo. So we can thank myself, the other version of me, the OG, the best antagonist slash anti-hero. Almost the best character in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just beside like Yusei and Yugi himself slash Atem, Seto Kaiba. And we pulled some pretty good Dark Magician One of the Dark Magician cards, I or Dark Magician. Who needs that stupid card? We have blue eyes. These two... Plus this, man, I'm rambling now. This is a pretty good tin. If you guys haven't got it yet, go out and get it now. It's only about 20-some bucks, and you get some pretty nice stuff. Like, as I said, Pot of Desires and some of the best sets of the last year with all these reprints. So for a much cheaper price than what you have to pay originally. But I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe for more videos like this. And let me know what you like. Let me know what you want to get out of here. Let me Just let me know any criticism or anything you'd like in the comments. Anyways, I've been the One Round Raiko, and I'll see you guys next time.